Starting school is such a big step. How do I know when my child's ready? Children can start school as early as four years and nine months. They need to be five by the end of July, or they can hold off starting school until their sixth year. Teachers are trained to teach children at the age level in which they come in, but the choice is up to parents, whether they feel that their child should start at four and a half or six. It's always difficult when you've got a child who's got an April, May birthday, April, May, June, because they're quite young to start and parents wonder whether to keep them uh, at preschool for another year or keep them at home for another year. The three main things that I look at are obviously age, um, their social skills and, and how they cope with changes because all children are different. They didn't all crawl at the same age, they didn't all walk at the same age, they didn't all speak at the same age. And the same thing happens with children at school. You might get five or six children who are, are five in January and are going to start school, but they're all at different levels. Well, from personal experience, I had two children whose birthday they turned five in February and another son who turned six in June. And we decided to, legally we could have sent our middle child to school but he was not ready emotionally or socially to attend school. So we delayed his start until he was five, turning six in his first year of school and he had a much more successful start to school. Sometimes if you start them too early they're not mature enough at the other end ready for, for the complexity of study in the HSC. That worries me if our children aren't emotionally and academically ready for that. Sometimes girls are ready a little bit earlier than boys but Look, I found boys that are a little bit unsettled at preschool sometimes, they actually, when they start a routine at school, they actually work very well because there's a, a set routine. Starting school for a small child is physically demanding. They need to be able to cope with a full day at school. Often you'll find they'll come home and they'll be falling asleep at dinner time. That's absolutely normal. Well, there are a number of things that we like children to be able to do so that they don't ever have to feel embarrassed. Can your child dress themselves? Can they leave their shoes on? Can they pack up their gear? Getting them used to using toilets, not their home toilet. So going in and locking the door and for boys to be able to use a urinal. Sometimes little children don't know where to stand and they stand in the urinal rather than in front of it. Socially, have they left mum? Uh, are they able to take turns? Are they able, able to share? Your child would need to feel comfortable mixing with children, be able to play in their games, know how to interrupt games, know how to include others into their games. Speaking nicely to other children if something happens and they get upset about it, knowing how to deal with that situation. And I mean at a five-year-old, four-and-a-half, five-year-old level, I don't mean at a an eight or a nine year old level. Children do not need to be able to read and write to start school. The thing you can give your children before they come to school are good social skills, they need to be able to talk and they need to be able to listen. The reading and the writing is what I teach them when they come to school. If, if they have a bit of a turn with letters or numbers or whatever, that's great, but the best skills they can have is being able to listen and being able to speak. You need your children to be able to hold a pencil, to get them to use not just pencils, but crayons and paints and clay and Play-Doh and all those things that will help them write well when they do come to school. Most schools in New South Wales these days have a couple of preparation days, one or two, where children come along. I always say to parents it's a really good idea to visit the school that you think you're going to send your child to. Go along, ring them up, just say, you know, I'd like to come and have a look. Go for a walk through, bring your child along and you'll get the idea whether you're going to be comfortable there, whether your child's going to be comfortable there. There's more information about starting school at schoolatoz.com.au, including a free downloadable booklet called Time to Start School.